Right guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel and today's video is going to be a match review on the Sunderland Wickham game where Sunderland have just beaten the former League One leaders by four goals to nil. Now if there's ever going to be a game that will top the Lincoln game that weekend, it had to be this one. I mean, tell what a performance from Sunderland once again and this time it was like even better because well first he was against the league leaders who were no longer at um, first now and also because we actually played well for the full 90 minutes instead of just giving up after um, second half but uh, yeah basically it's going to be the same as last week and we're going for the team a brief um, a brief br brief of the match and then my thoughts are painted afterwards so start off with the teams and Sunderland going with a 3-4-3 had John McLaughlin in goal Willis, Oz, Turk and Flanagan in the back three. Or nine, Dobson, Power and Hume in the middle. And Maguire, Wyke and Gucci front three. For Wickham, I think they may be going with a 4 3 3. Had Alsop in goal. Phillips, Stewart, Charles and Jacobson in the back four. Thompson, Gip, Bloomfield, midfield. And then Wheeler, Smith and Samuel up front. Now, um, it's a pretty it was a pretty energetic start of the game, really, from both sides. Um, well, I'll say probably Wickham probably had the first. Um, sort of spelling the ball, but very quickly in the fifth minute, Charlie Wyke, um, with a right footed shot, manages to put it past the keeper and make it 1 0. It was a nice ball across the box um, from then the Gooch. And Wyke getting his first goal, in, well, it seems like a while, I, I think it is anyway, I can't remember the last time he scored, but uh, yeah, Wyke um, obviously getting off the mark very, very well there. And then in the 16th minute, Sunderland probably produced some, one of the best goals that I've like seen from Sunderland, from, from, from like as a Sunderland team in a while. It was Denver Hume, Denver Hume getting the goal, but it was some lovely play by, um, I think, obviously, 9 uh, Maguire and Willis all involved in it. So basically, I, what, what, I, what I think what I never happened is, and there was a lot of Wickham players around 9 Maguire, them two managed um, to play some nice one-twos, and then eventually found Willis, um, who eventually got the cross um, over, which was um, cleared by Wickham, and then came out Denver Hume, and he smashed it in the bottom right corner. So it was, it was a fantastic finish from Denver Hume. I mean, um, I would have, I would, I would have obviously looked at the match highlights, but obviously I haven't really, I haven't been released yet, so I can't really uh, see them so far. And then to make it even better, 19th minute, um, Anthony Stewart fouled, um, I'd, I fouled Luke on that in the box. I'm oh, sorry, Linda Gooch. So Anthony Stewart um, fouled in the Gooch in the box, got yellow card, and Chris McGuire converted the penalty um, in the bottom right corner. I tell. You, so uh, I think everyone was buzzing. I mean, it was sort of similar to last week against Lincoln, where we were winning three 0 in like I think it was like twenty eight minutes. This time we won against within twenty minutes against Wigan, and they were um, until Wigan they did not look like a team who should be top of the table. I'll tell you that now. And then from there, and um, Wigan sort of got back in the game a little bit. They definitely had a lot more of the ball, but then um, Sunderland had a series of corners, which were, I mean, I don't know why. I mean, Flanagan, the amount of headers he missed was absolutely ridiculous. Um, but yeah, apart from that, Sunderland just continued um, to play well. And then on came Adebayo Akinfenwa. In the 20th minute, he replaced um, Phillips right back. I'll tell you, Akinfenwa, he made no difference whatsoever. I, don't, I mean, like, literally, Akinfenwa is actually probably one of the worst footballers I've ever seen. And, like, I'm annoyed if like, he's the beast, you know. Absolutely massive lab. Apart from that, he's, he's absolutely crap. Honestly, he's literally so bad. But, um, yeah, uh, that becomes big substitution. Then maybe a secret weapon didn't work at all. Because I'm um, suddenly um, continued to press and that that um, and then the first half and the second half, underway Charlie White, tell what I um we've, we've just signed Kyle Lafferty um yesterday. Tell what Charlie White needs to get his um, head in the game if he's gonna keep his place in the start level. Because my word, he should have he, he missed two glorious chances. I saw the second half. The first one was them um, a right footed shot. Um, well, I well, should no, it was it was outside the box, but then uh, fair enough. But then second shot, a uh, second attempt. Tell the Gooch, Gooch must be absolutely, he must have been pissed off when Wyke missed that shot because honestly, right, literally, it was a lovely, lovely ball from Gooch. Wyke literally in the same position as where he was in the first half, but he missed. Honestly, it was absolutely ridiculous. Ch Charlie Wyke, I mean, I, I, I mean, again, if obviously if he wants to keep his place in the Sun and team, then he's going to have to uh, obviously keep on doing better than what he's doing because, to, uh, I mean, if, if he continues to make um, errors like that, he's definitely not going to be able to. Um, Keep his place and Lafayette's going to coming in. But in terms of stuff that happened in the second half, Joel Lynch got f booked for literally no reason. Like, I mean, oh, oh, so yeah, I remember right. This free kick was absolutely ridiculous. So basically, I don't know. Um, Lynch won the ball. It, oh, sorry, Alex Samuel, uh, Alex Samuel, right. So Joel Lynch um, won the ball from Alex Samuel. Samuel then died on the floor, literally 
try to reenact what Luke and I did against Doncaster. Just roll around the floor. There's nothing wrong with him. I mean, like Lynch. I mean, I mean, like Lynch may have the slightest touches on him. Apart from that, there's barely any contact there. And then, and then the referee. I don't know what happened, right? But the referee put the free kick in the wrong position. Right? I don't know why. I, I mean, Wickham, Wickham could say, "Oh yeah, well, it was referee's decision." I mean, t- but tell you what, though, the Wickham players weren't in the massive rush to tell the referee that was in the wrong position. I'm telling you, what, the linesman. Who I mean, I mean, like the referee didn't, didn't even think it was a free kick. It was the bloody linesman who said there was a free kick, and then the linesman then failed to actually say where the free kick was actually meant to go. Honestly, it's absolutely awful um, moment there from the referee who actually thought. I don't say this. I don't know. Right, the referee who's um, in charge of today's game was by far probably the best I've actually seen in League One. That I've seen the one and a half season that Sunderland have been in this league. He actually was really good. Obviously, I heard up um, before the game that he was. Um, former championship referee, obviously, I'm guessing he got, he got demoted for this season. I'll tell you what, he actually did really, really well. I thought he was very, very fair. I'll tell you what, his linesman, um, especially on, 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 on the right hand side, absolutely clueless. So Lynch got an undeserved yellow card. Then they brought on Josh Parker and Alex Patterson for Dom Gape and Paul Smith. And Chris Maguire managed to um, seal the game with a lovely free kick. I mean, um, he got a bit of help from the crossbar, but um, it's matter because it did go in off the end. And Maguire didn't make it 4 0. And then some of his crews after that, obviously playing some um, nice football, trying to keep possession, time wastes as well, because obviously Wickham are famous for time wastes, and obviously people are arguing that the fact that Wickham are only, only top table because obviously of their time wasting. But then um, obviously some of them managed to, obviously, well, bad enough, give Wickham a taste of all medicine. And um, brought on McMark with Naughty Phil in the Gucci, and I think obviously that's just a bit of a tactical substitution. Obviously, you just get Gucci off, obviously, Gucci obviously had a brilliant game. Um, obviously, give McNulty a run out as well. And then that was basically the end of the game. I um, thought overall, Sunderland played very, very well. Um, Wickham, tell Wickham, an absolute shadow of the team that they've been this season. Absolutely horrendous. And tell you, it's it baffles me how these were top of the league for absolutely age. I mean, that's, I'm pretty sure Wickham were like seven points clear at one stage, and now they're down in second place. I mean, tell you, Wickham, absolutely shocking team. Really, really don't deserve to be where they are. Heard that much, but um, yeah, after the game, um, obviously, obviously, I went straight to Twitter because obviously, um, before the game. Obviously, um, Wickham, I think it was Wickham centre back Darius Charles. Obviously, if you guys remember from when we lost against Wickham earlier on in the season, Darius Charles made a tweet, and it was a tweet. Well, I can't remember what it was. It was something to do with like um, where it was um, it was it was something along the lines of our house. Um, you, you come to our house, you you play our rules. So that was something before the game, and and obviously people were like, oh yeah, I hope this twat gets attacked something like that. I tell you what, Twitter has been gone absolutely ballistic. Um, <laughs> it's fair to say since then. Obviously, um, Darius Charles, obviously, he got booed a couple of times today. Apart from that, it didn't really look too threatening whatsoever. And then, um, some of the fans obviously been taking the make out of him all day. And then, and then the Wickham, um, social media, and then put in, a first win in four attempts against the chair boys for former top five side SAFC. And then, tell you what, he got some absolute abuse for that, my word. I actually retweeted that. I'll put in the video now. I actually retweeted that. With an assault and um, gif, so uh, yeah, it's just stuffy. Some of them fans obviously um have been taken up up to piss out of them. Um, I'll work them all this once. It's been it's been great. It's been absolutely it's been great. But um yeah, overall it's been a really really good game. And um, to watch we've got MK Don's next, which I mean they, they managed to get a draw against the Coventry today, but obviously I don't have any context for that game. But hopefully um we can get win against MK Don's and maybe push up maybe towards fourth or third. We're currently on sixth place right now, but tell you what, um, it's um, it's um, it's, um, it's getting very tight up there. And yeah, that's basically it. So uh, cheers, Watson, and I'll see you next time.